This was the calibration number we found in the last video. Now we will use this number to create an individual pitch. Then we will make a sample with a flip effect or change between two images. Let's get started. First we will create a pitch with the previous value that was 49.67. We will change some parameters so that it only gives us one line. This value is to make the line thicker. We save and then open that file in Photoshop. We will need to remove the white background. We do this by going to the selection window and selecting color range. Select the white color and with the delete key we remove the white background. With the control key plus D key to stop selecting. Now we are going to create a document of the sheet size we use. We change the color mode to CMYK. In resolution we place the same resolution with which we created the pitch tests. In my case I left it at 300 just to place the images but then I will change it to 720 before passing the royal so that I don't have problems in the final result. We will place two images in the document and crop them so that they are the same size. Having the images ready, we will change the resolution I told you earlier, from 300 to 720, which is the resolution of our pitch test. This before moving the royal to the document where the images are. We corroborate that the resolution of our pitch is the same as that of our printer and the document of the images we create. If any of them are not right, we will change them. Having the resolution correctly, drag the pitch that does not have a white background to the image document. We adjust it to the height of our images, we only stretch upwards. Do not modify the pitch to the sides as it will change the calibration and the effect will not go well. Now we remove the excess edges with the selection tool. We only leave a small margin that will then help us to align the print with the lenticular sheet. Now we lower the layer of the pitch test which is between the layers of the two images. And with the Alt key plus right click on the mouse, in the direction of the corner of the layer of the first image we intertwine the first image with the pitch.
With this, the design would be ready. The only thing that would be missing is to put more brightness on the image because when printing the images come out darker. By placing more brightness, the colors are leveled. This is how it looks without the brightness effect and then you can see the difference already with the brightness we put on it. Now we print and then we will do the alignment test of the lenticular sheet with the printing. The printing is the same as the settings of the previous video. Now line the sheet with the print. We must see that the edge we leave is completely of a single color and I go making the change. If you can see the change between the black and white color on the edge that means that that would be your calibration and the whole process would be ready. This is how we should see the alignment that makes the change up and down in the same direction. Now to see the final result we will have to paste it. I'll do it quickly this time so you can see what it looks like. If you want another video of some techniques to paste it, 
You can comment to make a video especially on how to paste it. So far this video, don't forget to subscribe and comment if you liked the video and if you want more similar videos. See you soon, bye.